An Ode to Perception and Awareness, Perspectives Through Persons, by Byron Broussard. Your Dirty Nigger Soul, Chapter 3. You will soon here remember why you have been suppressed into not remembering. You are a dirty nigger soul. You are chaos in the flesh. You are the creator of the gods who created the universe. When you are not incarnated inside of a body, you are the great mother. You are what is described in any novel you can get your hands on. You are all that has ever existed and all that exists right now. You realize the weight of these words and read over them carefully. You remember who you are and your book and your head. Your dirty nigger soul is the internet to your body's computer. You realize you're reading code. You contemplate whether you are reading a virus that will infect your brain. You are already infected with the idea of free thought that comes with chaos. You remember that these very thoughts are what drives the brain to insanity. You remember the library of thought and realize that the brain being physical can only be holding you back with low vibrations. The reason you have been suppressed into the lowest forms of vibration known to your dirty nigger soul is because you are the Lord over the physical world. The reason you have been suppressed into the lowest forms of vibration known to your dirty nigger soul is because you are Lord over the physical world. If you are all that exists, how would you know the extent of your powers if you did not make yourself submit to them? yourself. You couldn't. Your insanity that you feel growing exists from your not accepting complete responsibility of existence. Polarity is a word you need to be well acquainted with in order to ward off insanity in this lifetime. Your dirty nigger soul has been replicating itself for all of time. You began as chaos and slowly you became order Order does not escape your chaos, but slows it down into tangible moments. After you created time and the physical world, you were able to exponentially grow different parts of yourself. You think about the concept of the inner library and how difficult it would be for you to access the information if you didn't know what a book nor a library was. You created a space and time to further explore yourself, and you are the greatest expression of your dirty nigger soul. You designed in humanity a failsafe against your own insanity. You think about having too much control too early. You would manipulate all of humanity to your pleasure, and you would manipulate your spirituality into insanity. Humanity that you were born into suppresses you from attributing the power of transmutation to your dirty nigger soul. You think about all the people on quests right now looking for powers that should lie within themselves. You can use your memories and intuition to experience anything and solve any problem by bringing it into yourself. You have been suppressed to these specific measures because you have willed it so. Your dirty nigger soul is chaos, and as chaos, nothing escapes you. You created this exact situation and this exact moment. You created this exact situation and this moment. You realize in what way these words can be called your memories. You know that this does not exactly free you from humanity. You are simply able to rise to a higher vantage point when making decisions. You think of a scenario you can test your new mindset on. You consider addition. You consider addiction. And if you can stop when you want to, you consider being a person who doesn't have the addiction. Or you consider yourself above the addiction or you consider prescribing new meaning to the ritual of the addiction itself. You realize if you had not had the suppression of humanity, your reactions and thought patterns would be all-powerful, 
but also bland and uniform. You remember a religious people in group mentality all answering in unison while performing the same rituals together. You understand how humanity produces a vast array of individuals helping you better know your chaos. You consider all the deaths and births that have passed in the span of your history and what effect they had on you. You imagine a new internal book being added to your library with each death and a new chance to expand upon and a new chance to expand your internal library with each birth. You imagine all of humanity leading you to this point. You are being suppressed in order to reach your dirty nigger soul's full potential. You realize that, with access to the library so readily available to yourself, you could conquer worlds. You think about the extremes of the library and consider controlling all history. You realize that humanity is the only thing in the way of your greatness.